Cinema Lovers Club's official The Assassination of Gianni Versace, an American Crime Story Review. Synopsis, extravagant and operatic Greek tragedy-like scoring and scale, powerful and top-notch Emmy-caliber performances spearheaded by Darren Criss, stunning in cinematography, and intriguing in plot structure plus multi-layered symbolism, 9.7 out of 10. Versace. From its producer theme fashionista opening in 1978 as a small family operation to the luxurious mega franchise it is today, the powerhouse brand's meteoric rise and man behind the masthead bearing his name has been shrouded in mystery. Taken out by spree killer Andrew Cunanan, an FBI's most wanted featuring with delusions of grandeur and little else known about him, it was about time some light and dramatic reenactment was shed on this icon of clothing's shocking murder. None better to head up the process than TV maven Ryan Murphy and his lustrous crime anthology, American Crime Story. What they've delivered might not just be the best TV series this year, it might be one of the greatest TV series I've ever seen. Extravagant and operatic Greek-like tragedy in scoring and scale, powerful and top-notch Emmy-caliber performances spearheaded by Darren Criss, stunning in cinematography, and intriguing in plot structure and multi-layered symbolism, the assassination of Johnny Versace is a tier above most other offerings on streaming this decade. Stylistic flair that would make Versace himself proud. From its stunning cover art and poster of artfully visualizing the company's Medusa head symbol on an Italian marble statuette, I knew the series was going to be something special for the eyes. However, I was not prepared for how absolutely jaw-dropping it is cinematically. Every single shot in cinematography is set up with immaculate craftsmanship and designer-worthy compositional detail. Visually eye-popping color hues, geometric precision, and camerawork flamboyancy with multi-layered symbolism. From the famous Versace mansion pool in Palm Tree Line, Miami South Beach, to the shooting of the Dove, to that, to that stunning final Medusa mirror graphic match to the grieving widow and sister, this series wears its artistic heart on its sleeve, epitomizing the old adage, a picture or a screenshot is worth a thousand words. The score is all-time memorable, and pure emotion-inducing as well, adding an auditory component to the visual grandeur with a literal operatic overture and soundtrack, further establishing its Greek and Italian tragedy-like feel like you're watching a larger-than-life classical drama on stage back in ancient Rome. Brought to life by such century beauty, it does the fashion icon proud stylistically. Beyond the visuals and score, the series succeeds on narrative, existentialism, and performances too. Darren Chris's performance as a sadistic, psychologically complex, multi-layered, smooth-talking, grandeur-delusional devil, Andrew Cunanan, is easily one of the best TV performances of the decade. Easy to see why it won, the best, won him the best actor Emmy for it. He absolutely steals the show every frame. Impressive considering one might have thought it was going to be more about Gianni's life and upbringing, which it does artfully portray with a strong and perfect resemblance actor in Edgar Ramirez, strong supporting performances by his family and Cruz's Donatella, and important representation of the struggles he endured coming from a small dressmaking shop in, Co in Calabria, Italy, a gay boy interested in women's clothes slash design. But, this, but decides to focus more on Cunanan, who he was to subvertibly brilliant results. This fascinating, vain, erudite, have-not, invisible feeling, exceptional villain is a trip for the ages, with tons to say about modern society, especially indicative of the social media age. The plot structure and themes serve this purpose, starting with the jaw-droppingly rendered Versace murder without any context or explanation beyond pure old-school operatic emotion-inducing, before piece by piece and slow-burningly going layer by layer into the story of why it happened and who everyone involved was. From David, to the Miglins, to Donatella, to Andrew's downright evil father Modesto, arguably even a more screen-stealing intriguing presence than Andrew, possibly shouldering some of the blame for, for Andrew with a side arc of how much bad fathers can pass on to their vulnerable sons. In this case, inflated ego, expensive taste, and God, God complex, etc., before tying up its many threads and storylines perfectly with a bow in the end. This series also gives light and exploration to timely, vitally important topics, like the drug of fame, feeling invisible, television of violent acts, materialism, instant gratification of modern society, 
image obsessions, grandeur delusions, mental health, morality, capitalism, juxtaposition of have and have not, and homosexuality. How it can silence, demonize, force lies, isolate, and played a huge role in the remarkable length, brutality, and multi-perspective tragedy of this case is one of the most important representations of the topic ever filmed. The only minor flaws to be found in this otherwise brilliant canvas are the occasionally disorientating and convoluted nature of the plot structure it can get admittedly daunting and rewind forcing trying to piece together. Wildly juxtaposed vignettes from different stories, people, and even time periods assault our senses making it objectively a task to frame it all into a coherent, to coherent whole on a single take. This, plus in a slightly overdone Italian accent by Penelope Cruz's Donatella, are about the only nits to pick in this fascist story about everything but fashion. Overall, American Crime Story The Assassination of Gianni Versace is a masterpiece of TV. Extravagant and operatic Greek tragedy-like scoring and scale, powerful and top-notch Emmy-caliber performances spearheaded by Darren Criss, stunning in cinematography, an intriguing in plot structure and multi-layered symbolism, the, assass the Assassination of Johnny Versace is one of the best television series I've ever seen in my life, and even better than its sensational predecessor, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Bravo, Ryan Murphy. Bravo. Official CLC score, 9.7 out of 10. Like this review? Check out our channel and hit subscribe for all the latest updates and reviews on all the newest and classic films, TV, and gaming. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Cinema Lovers Club, or check out the site itself, cinemaloversclub.com, for a wide library of past reviews while we start publishing them to YouTube. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the club.